Darian Durant looks good in training camp. Do you think it's too soon to start planning the Great Cup parade? Murray Wood discovered his calling at an early age. I saw a Batman thing where Batman and Robin had to uh, say something to the, to the citizens of Gotham, so they swooped down on t into a radio station in the middle of the night, and there was a guy playing records and drinking milk, and I thought, I could do that. <laughs> That's a good job. He first got behind a microphone while in high school in Saskatoon. An English teacher started up a, sort of an in-house uh, radio station. It was really very basic. Some speakers in the cafeteria, an old turntable and some borrowed equipment. And we started doing a show before school and over the lunch hour. And sort of went from there. Murray was hooked. So with grade 12 diploma in hand, he hit the road in search of his first radio job. Got in my car, decided I'm going to go to Prince Albert, North Battleford, Rosetown and apply for jobs. And I uh, went to PA and they said, thank you very much. And I said, well, no, I just drove you know, an hour and a half. I'd like to talk to somebody. So they put me in with Jim Scarrow, who I don't know who Jim Scarrow was, you know, the legend in, in Prince Albert. And uh, he listens to a bit of my tape, picks up the phone and phones somebody. And I'm thinking, well, gee, if I could leave. <laughs> hey, Harry, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. How was Hawaii? So they got a guy here. He, he wants to do news. And I said, I didn't care. I do news. I do a show. I just wanted it in the radio. So I'm going to send him down to see you. So he sent me down to North Battleford and said, stay there at least a year. You know, stay with the company, it's a good thing. And it turned out to be 35 years with the company. Murray Wood's career has taken him from North Battleford to Calgary, Ottawa, and Regina, where he's been news director for the past 24 years. Ecuador quake, garbage cans. This is Sarah's outstanding story on the garbage bins. Those who work with Murray look to him as a mentor. Don't expect a buffer of, of praise before he gets to the criticism. The criticism comes first and it's hard to take, but it's made me the better journalist, better broadcaster. Um, I couldn't ask for a, a friend and a mentor and, and a great boss. I'm kind of the old guy sitting here and so he'll sit across the, the desk and look at you like this and I'm thinking, yeah, okay, I just kind of chuckle. but. The young reporters, I'm sure, can <laughs> get the, oh no, I got the glasses, I got the look over the, the glasses view from Murray and knowing that, yeah, I got to work a little bit harder at what I'm doing, so. Murray Wood has covered everything from politics to royal visits, but thinks back to the 88 Olympics in Calgary as his most memorable experience. Uh, I got to cover, I'm mainly skiing, so I got to be on the ski hill every day for the better part of two weeks. and. Some of the, the revelry around it was a massive event, and it was really interesting to be inside, well inside, but you know, as a reporter, somewhat inside the structure and, and the workings of the Olympics. It was a real eye-opener in education as to how the IOC works, let me tell you. Hey, everybody out there, coming to see ya. Paul McCartney was his favorite interview, but not only because of who Paul McCartney is. And it was one of those abject lessons for us as journalists because we got this interview with Paul McCartney. On his way to the, the show, he phoned in, and it was arranged. And people afterwards said, how did you guys get the interview with Paul McCartney? And I said, and I wasn't being cheeky, I said, we asked. And we asked a bunch of times. And the first time I asked, his PR person laughed, and I laughed, and then I said, no, seriously. We'd like to interview Paul McCartney. Our program director, Jay Stone, started working on the promoter as well. And uh, hey, sometimes when you ask, the stars align, and Paul McCartney gave us 15 minutes on the radio. It was fantastic. It was, you know, it was memorable. You played for royalty in the, in the biggest venues. What, what gets you enthused about playing a smaller place like Regina? Um, you know, it's always really nice to play places you haven't played before. And, um, you know, I've been all over Canada, played a lot of places, but I haven't played Regina before. So um, it's exciting to meet a, a new bunch of people, you know? Talking to new people every day is what keeps Murray Wood excited about his job. I get to come to work and do something I love every day. I mean, there are people out there who they have, they have to go to jobs they hate. I get to do something that uh, is challenges me and fulfills me and, and lets me have fun. And I work with people who are a lot of fun to work with. And there are days, uh, the bosses won't see this, right? There are days you think, God, I'm getting paid for this. Uh, I'd, I'd do this for, well, less. <laughs> I couldn't be happier for Murray. I think the Lifetime Achievement Award really speaks to his career. He has spent a long time chasing the story, leading others in the pursuit of the story, and he's received both regional and national industry recognition for their efforts. 
Also, he's done it in a, an environment that is increasingly challenging. There's sometimes a, a bit of a hard sell between the value of news and community information to ratings and to revenue from sales. But he's managed to do it, and he's managed to do it with integrity. And I couldn't be happier for him and for his family, because none of this happens alone. So Murray Wood has been a constant presence in our community over the past several years. Uh, all the time we hear his voice on major stories of the day, from the great interview he did with Paul McCartney before the concert that he did, uh, to the annual budgets by the city and by the province, we always have his reassuring voice that he knows what's happening and he asks the important questions of the day. As news director for CJME, he always ensures that coverage of City Hall is fair and reasonable. And what more could you ask for? Murray, you've done a great job. You're a great journalist. Congratulations on receiving this Lifetime Achievement Award. Murray Wood. Uh, there are a few that would be more deserving of uh, this Lifetime Achievement uh, Award from the RTDNA than you. Let's face it, I know you've had your mustache shaved now for a number of years, but your mustache probably would be worthy of this award given how long it was also on the radio. And thank goodness that it was on the radio because uh, there are some people that look good in a mustache and then there are people like you and me. Uh, but in all seriousness, uh, Murray, uh, your contribution to journalism in our province, to broadcast journalism in our province is, uh, is very, very significant. Uh, you have left things better than you found them uh, in, in various newsrooms and uh, I have talked to journalists who have been very positively influenced by you, uh, some here very recently. So congratulations on this well-deserved recognition. All the best.